All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Fallout London, where today Kira decided to get right in my face as I started. Thank you, Kira. Thank you. And we are, well, still here in the courtside bazaar, about to go and actually help out Queenie over here with rescuing her kids, I guess? Which is interesting. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that all does pan out. Though, before we do... I'm actually quite interested in something that we may have to investigate at some point. I've heard, of course, as I've been going around here buying and selling things, predominantly a lot of ammo. They actually had a lot more ammo here than the usual vendor I go to over at uh, Nadia's Trading Post. So yeah, bought quite a bit and sold quite a lot of aid items. I have, in fact, emptied out a fair amount of... Um, carry capacity that we were at. I think we were at like 309 uh, before I sold everything. We still, of course, have plenty. But man, I didn't realize how much of like the different chems and stuff I had. There were a lot. Too much. Too much. And I still have, frankly, a lot. But, you know, not as bad. But what I was saying as I was uh, buying and selling things, hearing random things from random people, one of the security guards mentioned the memory den. So I'm actually curious if there is, in fact, a memory den here in London, or if just there's, you know, it's some sort of weird leftover thing from Fallout 4. I don't know. The rest of what he said, I don't remember exactly what it was, but the rest of what he said didn't sound like something from Boston. Uh, but I'm curious about that. I wonder if there's a memory den somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh, well, that's for future investigation. I am looking forward to that, though. If we ever do find that place, that might be intriguing to see what sort of memories we could get into here in Fallout London. Nice. But for now, back to Queenie. Let's go help her find her kids. Yo! What's up? You wanting some magic milk? You know, I actually did forget, I forget to buy some of that, didn't I? But... I heard you might need some help. I mean, I know we got the help part when we also asked her about the milk trade, which was real, real weird last episode, but let's actually go straight into the helping part this time. There's not really any jobs needed doing, I'm afraid. Wait, what? We run a pretty tight milking parlor over here. If you want to be useful, though, our children have been playing outside all ah, day. There we go. And we need someone to go fetch them. Ah, all right, they okay. They should be back by now, but you know how kids can be. Okay, okay. I was about to say, does she not have a quest? But no, all right, there is her kids. She wants them back in. But yeah, wait, your kids are alone outside? Well, you see, things are different in the blight. It's scary the further outside of the dome you go. But the only thing near here are the commuters. Uh-huh. And the commuters don't bother us, since we're also ghoulified. Yeah, that's a very good they point. They don't seem to be bothered by anyone who is irradiated like them. Okay. They're still a bit wild, sure. But they don't attack us. And the kids have a way with them. It's like they can talk to them or something. Well, that's a little creepy. Maybe a child's brain is about the same as the mush in a commuter's. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay, that's funny. All right. But is it safe out there? I've heard there are a lot of commuters. Well, I mean, she literally just talked about the commuters, but we're going to click it anyways. Oh, don't worry about that. The commuters don't bother us. They're actually quite friendly. Our kids have been known to ride them like horses. They what now? <laughs> okay, that's even funnier. All right. Well, where can I find your children? They usually play around the old factory on the outskirts of town. Uh huh. Just be careful. There are some commuters in the area, but I'm sure you can handle yourself. I mean, I already killed a lot of commuters out there, but um, yeah, sure, I'll go find your children and bring them back safely. Thank you so much. It shouldn't be difficult. They are good kids and tend to listen. Tend? Just bring our kids back to us, and I'll give you some tickets. Sweet, I like tickets. And I may then finally use those to buy some of the magic milk that I did forget to buy off camera. Okay, looks like this is just a miscellaneous quest. Oh, dang. Alright, well, out we go. Let's go find the children. Avis, what the hell are you doing out here? Should you be in your shop? Yeah, well. Thank you, though, Avis. You had a lot of ammunition, and I'm very appreciative of that. Also, were there a lot more settlers up here than there were before? Huh. Weird. 
Well, back out to the dome and then out into the world at large. See how things are going. Now off cam for our uh, new skill that I took, finally did get around to that. I actually decided to go with, I forget what it's called now, but the rad resistance one, because you know, we're going to eventually be doing more exploring out in this irradiated wasteland because surely there's going to be a lot of cool things and just things like radiation storms and just the radiation inherent in a nuclear post-apocalyptic wasteland. I figured it would be good to take that. It's only 10 resistance to rads, but still that helps. Every little bit helps and means I've got to use less rad X and rad away. I mean, we're still going to have to use some because that is only 10 rad resist at the moment. But, nonetheless, nonetheless, I figured it'd be good. Might take a few more points into it in the future. Wait, is that the one that eventually gives you the thing where you can swim in the water without radiation? Or is that a different one? I don't know. But, yep, Rad X. <laughs> I mean, it is lower, though. It was only plus two just then. So that's not as bad as it was before. But still... Here we go, 100 rad resist, and head on over this way, where the children are immediately here. Well, one child. Hello, child. How are, hi, Mandy. Hey, you. Please help. Okay. Thank goodness you're here. We were playing hide and seek, and my brother got trapped in a fridge. No, oh, oh Please, my God, of course. you have to help us. Of course it's a fridge kid. Of course it's a fr Oh. <laughs> Trapped in a fridge? How'd that happen? We were playing around and he went inside the fridge to hide. But the door got stuck and now he can't get out. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, don't worry. I'll help you. Take me to your brother. He's in there. Please hurry. Of course it's a fridge kid. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> and hey, good thing when we came to the dome that we, uh cleared out the ghouls in this area. Well, I say that as we're going deeper into the radioactive wasteland over this way. But still, not so bad. Not seeing any. Never mind, I found some. Oh, it's worse. It's bloat flies. <laughs> All right, hold on. Hold on. We're going to have to take care of these real quick, Mandy. Oh, boy. Great. Oh, freaking bloat flies. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh, you're glowing too. That's even worse. Yes, die, please. Okay, okay. Okay, they are actually doing me a lot of damage because there's so many. Why do we keep finding gigantic swarms of things? <laughs> hey, Kara, instead of just singing to yourself, maybe help? Victory is Oz. Sweet, we're good. Mandy? M Mandy? Uh-oh, where'd Mandy go? Uh, I actually am a little worried that Mandy seems to be gone. Oh, there she is. Oh, thank God. She just ran away for safety. Okay, good, good, good. All right, what do we do here? Ah, talk to Stevie. Mandy, did you find someone to help? Yeah. I don't know who you are, but... Please help me. That's why I'm the here, Stevie. The door locked on me whilst I was trying to hide, and Mandy isn't strong enough to get the fridge open. Please help. Oh, boy, it's going to be a strength check, isn't it? Oh, no, my strength isn't the greatest. Hang on, I'll get you out of there. Uh, thank you. I am puking blood. <laughs> Damn you, bloat flies. All right, find a way to free Stevie. Oh, okay, I mean, what? Oh, what do we do? Eh? I don't seem to have an interact point. Huh. <laughs> oh, I'm worried. Find a way to free Stevie. I mean, uh, okay, okay. I only seem to have the interact point to talk to him. And he's not talking anymore. Do we... Do we just bash the fridge? I'm gonna try bashing the fridge. Oh, thank you so oh yeah, much. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> we should head back home now. Mommy and Daddy will be worried about us. Uh -huh. Please don't tell them about how you had to save me, though. 
me and Mandy only just got permission to come back out after the last thing I did wrong. <laughs> oh, what you, you can do, kid? A secret, right? Uh, I mean, I'm trying. Hold on, kid. I'm trying to. There we go. So we have some light here. Now have I lost the conversation? Wait, wait, wait. Uh oh, backing away. I may have broken something. Oh, jeez. Unless I just need to be in a very specific spot for Stevie. St Stevie? Mandy? Oh, thank you so much. We should head back home now. Well, I Mommy don't. I. Daddy will be okay. Worried about us. Please don't tell them about how you had to save me, though. Uh huh. Uh huh. Me and Mandy only just got okay, there we go. That redid it. The last thing I did wrong. Talking to you Mandy. Reset things. Secret. Right? You know what? Sure. Why not? Don't worry, Thank kid. Thank you. Kids will be kids. All right, follow the children back to their parents. Gonna have to protect them just in case. Mandy, come on, hurry up. Come along, please. Follow your brother and me. All uh, right. Jump across the things. Oop, that's a lot of reds. Too many reds. I see red over there, but I can't vats it. All right, that kid went in. Mandy, you too. Come on, hurry up. Quick as a bunny. Go, go, go. Hey, oop, she's, she's not going in. There we go. <laughs> Into the dome. Oh, with all my fresh new radiation. Oh, man. I didn't notice it pop up at the top, but I think my red X wore out, and I didn't didn't notice when it did say that. Because, yeah, I got a lot more radiation right now. Dang. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need, like, a red suit plus more points into that red resistance perk. And chems before we come back to this place to explore more. Because, wow, that's a... Oh, that's a lot of radiation. Okay. All right. The kids have already made it past. Good, good, good. Gone away. Still can't talk to the shady lady. I mean, I, I know that's not her proper... These were knocked over last time I came here. I didn't notice them as we exited, but I know for a fact when we went in, these were all knocked over. Terrifying. <laughs> Freaking mannequins, man. Freaking mannequins. Do not like them. Ah, uh, man. All right, all right. Well, let's just go talk to Queenie. We saved her kids. Shorter of a quest than I thought we were going to get, but... All right. We'll get some tickets out of it, and I actually think I know what I want to go do next. If it's actually a thing. I don't know if it's a thing. If it isn't... It'll be a back to exploration for the rest of the day. And then next episode, we will head to another place with hopefully an, uh, get into some more proper questing. Mommy! Hey, everyone! Daddy! We found the kids! Kids, where have you guys been? Well, Thank you again for bringing our children back safely. Uh huh? We appreciate your help. No problem. Wait, why do you look so distraught? Do I look distraught? What's been going on? Oh, there were a lot of bloat flies out there. <laughs> There's nothing. Just glad I could help. You should have been watching your children better. Stevie got locked inside of a fridge. Could have gotten seriously hurt or worse. Ah, I mean, it's kids. The kids are going to get into crap. <clears throat> children were in danger, but I was able to rescue them from a fridge. No problem at all. They were just playing outside the factory. No issues to speak of. Yeah, everyone just give me the tickets for babysitting. Don't be mad, but Stevie got stuck in a fridge. Nah, you know what? Yeah, it's... I mean, I really probably should tell the parents the truth, but ah, kids will be kids. No problem at all. They were just playing outside the factory. No issues to speak of. Really? I feel that's unlikely. Especially knowing what our Stevie is like. Ah, but yeah. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Here's your tickets. But I bet you get these all the time, eh? As a token of our gratitude, how about my husband teaches you the trick of our trade. Oh, can we make our own miracle Something milk? Something a little bit different, eh? Might prove useful. Yes, it would. Sweet. Speak to Charlie. Oh my god, Charlie, hi. Charlie? 
Charlie, Charlie. Uh, you must be the person who I'm to teach milking to, right? Uh-huh. Thank you again for bringing my kids back safe and sound. No problem. I really appreciate your help. Stevie told me what happened. Oh, did he? They said you found him trapped in a fridge. Wow. Something okay. Something about him hiding <laughs> in a fridge during hide-and-seek game. I lied for nothing, then. Or getting stuck, right? Yeah. Either way, I'm glad he's back safe and sound, thanks to you. Yeah, no problem, Charlie. But, yeah, let's get you learnt up about milk in a brom, yes? Oh, I just... Oh, I was hoping I would learn how to make magic milk, not how to milk a Brahmin. But, um... You know? Yeah. Yeah, we're going with that first one. Definitely not how I thought I'd be spending my day, but sure, why not? And I used to be a chemist before the war. We all end up doing strange things, am I right? God, I know, right, Charlie? Ah, uh, Yeah, thanks for teaching me. No worries at all. First, you need to approach the Brahmin slowly and calmly. They can be skittish if they sense danger. Uh-huh. Then, you need to find the adders and gently squeeze to release the milk. It's important not to hurt the animal, or you won't get any milk at all. <laughs> it's not an easy skill to master, but you seem the type to have a natural touch. Well, thank you. Just remember, not all Brahmin can be milked. Look out for the special branding on them. Special branding? I'll let you hop to it. Stay safe out there. Thank you, Charlie. IRL, I actually have milked a cow once. It was actually a little difficult. I, yeah, it took me a little bit to learn. But, you know, good skill to have, question mark? <laughs> All right, so what's the special branding they're supposed to have? Ah, the metro sign. The underground symbol there. Do all of them have it? And that one has it too. Okay, all of these ones seem to have it, and I do not know if I want to touch these. <laughs> they are very ill looking. Well, milk the Brahmin. I have successfully milked the Brahmin. Unpasteurized milk added. Try to keep your lunch down, sir. I require empty milk bottles before I can milk the Brahmin. Oh. oh! I mean, makes sense. You'd need something to put it into. Well, that actually gives us a reason to loot more milk bottles. I have been looting, not been looting them for a while because I have enough glass in my settlements, but that's actually reason to get them. Okay. Huh. Nifty, though. So I guess it makes sense that all of theirs are going to have the special brand. I kind of want to go back to Camden to see if theirs have the brand. Granted, I'm still going with these are very unhealthy cows and you should not be drinking this milk, even after pasteurizing it. <laughs> Granted, I am curious there. Oh, yeah, here it is. I know I saw a chemistry bench somewhere. Can I pasteurize the milk? <laughs> You know, it might be at the, uh... It's not going to be in drugs. It probably is at a cooking bench. And I was looking for a cooking bench in here off cam, but I could not find one. So I don't think there... Oh, there was another chemistry station right there. Hi. So I don't know if there is one. So let's go. Unless I'm blind as a bat, which is always a possibility. Let's go this way. First, just, just what the, what are you doing? I'm breaking the machines, jeez. There might be a cooking station we can use over at one of the things in here. I'm curious if we can pasteurize the milk. <laughs> I mean, I doubt we're gonna be able to make, oh, there they go. That's more like it. I doubt we're gonna be able to make the magic milk, but if I can pasteurize, that would be fine. You know, back here, maybe. Nope, there's no kitchen stuff there. Oh yeah, that was an armor workstation. All right, to the to the cafe on the other side. They might, maybe. Up uh, and back here. Huzzah! Okay, we may not be able to make it right now, but I'm curious. Let's just scroll through these. 
Oh, none. Ah, beverages. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, so we can pasteurize the milk in here. Nifty. Well, I mean, heck yeah, it only takes one. Because that was better than the unpasteurized milk. And yeah, that's what I was looking for, because I knew I had some stuff. There we go. Any others? Ah, yes, the Bradger meat we found. Yeah, all that stuff from the ammunition factory that instead had more meat than ammo. <laughs> uh, still confused by that place, but all right. Nifty, though. We may have to keep some bottles on us just in case we come across other Brahmin. We do know of a couple of places where there are other Brahmin. So yeah, that's th this is a pretty good thing to have around. Good for getting rid of rads, good for healing, and tons of freaking strength. I doubt, you know what, I bet you it's only good for like a few seconds worth of actual time, but dang. <laughs> All right, nifty. Okay, we should keep some bottles on us. I actually think I probably have some back home. Ah, oh, it's steel. <laughs> All right, out we go. Actually, can we fast travel from here? There's a thing I was thinking of us doing. Is, yeah, we'll come back to explore more of the highly irradiated area in the future, because, dear God, it's just too much radiation. So what I'm thinking of doing, since we already did one miscellaneous quest, let's actually head back to uh, over here. That's going to put me inside. You know what? That'll be better. Really? We can't fast travel from in here? <laughs> Son of a... You know what? I'm curious if we can from in the bazaar. I need to know. I need to know this. All right. Back to Courtside Bazaar. But yeah, we're going to go back over by St. Paul's where there's... um The convenient pie shop and barber. <laughs> I'm curious if there actually is something to that. I don't know if there is. I've been meaning to go back to... Freaking really? <laughs> what the hell? Why can't we fast travel from in here? Oh my god, that's annoying. It's a settlement locale. We can fast travel from inside Thames Haven. Damn. But yeah, I've been meaning to go back there and check on those to see if it's actually something there. Or if it is purely just there for, you know, show. Just to be like, ah, little Easter egg. I have a feeling it's just an Easter egg. But if it's not, friggin' hilarious, and we definitely gotta go check it out. Okay, oh, whoops, I hit escape, not tab. Alright, to the Attaboy! I finally remember what this thing's called rather than Pip Boy. <laughs> Thank you for multiple people reminding me. I keep referring to it as a Pip Boy because it's still Pip Boy in my brain from years of playing Fallout, but. Attaboy. Yeah, let's go check this thing out, and if uh, it isn't a thing, which I doubt it is, we'll spend the day doing a little bit more exploration, and then we shall, next episode, go find a quest. I'll off-camera check a few of the places that I think we may be able to get a quest from, just to make sure we can get a quest from them so we're not just bumming about at random. Uh, but yes, uh, next time we'll get back to some proper questing out in the world and see what's what. There are still definitely a lot of places we need to explore, but I kind of like doing uh, quests too. Plus they get you a really good experience and I could use a level 30. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the next couple of levels, I really have no plan in mind for what I'm going to take for my character. It's not until we get to 39. I think that I can take the next gun nut that I actually have something planned out so that I can make all of my guns as best as they can be damage wise. Hmm. So yeah, I got no other plan until then. Probably should raise up some of my other special stats. Probably should take the, um, oh, what's it called? We've taken one point in it, uh, that is good with, um, semi-automatic rifles and such that raises his damage i forget what it's called rifleman i think it's rifleman we could take another point in that to get even more damage out of our shotgun which would be nice which way do i go is 
South, of course. Why did I even have to look? South. <laughs> this was north of the cathedral, so of course it's going to be north of the thing. And there are things we already can see on the map to go and explore, so that is perfect. We'll just have to head northward from here. Actually, is there anything in this dead zone? It's definitely one of those things in this game I'm very confused by. A lot of the weird random dead zones. Granted, we know that there are actually some things over by this train crash that we couldn't find our way around to get to them. But, like, this area in here was all nothing. <laughs> A lot of weird dead zones. It should be down this road, right? Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. Right here on good old Fleet Street. We've got a pie shop and a barber. Nice. All right, let's check. In a very... That is definitely a disposed body. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Hey, dream. Oh, all Yep, all he, he is actually a barber with a lot of blood on the floor. You know, uh, sure. What would you like done? I don't know what would I like done, Ted. You took 30 tickets from me. Ted? Do I have to sit? Oh! Permanently unlock new unique hairstyles. Nifty. Ever read authentic science fiction? I have. Oh, We've had this conversation before. Secrets. Oh, I think I might have to sit in the barber chair. The other chair you couldn't sit in. And it's just a normal barber. I forgot that's what we look like. <laughs> okay, I don't care. I don't care. Just done. I was hoping something would fun would happen. There we go. It did not. Oh, I'm disappointed. I can't get back there. Yeah, there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood. And hello, madam. Hi, Miss welcome, Miggins. Welcome. Hi, what you got? Take a look. Mystery meat pies. Yep, of course. <laughs> uh, and normal meat pies. I wouldn't trust that, though. <laughs> okay, well, that's at least funny that they do have the mystery meat pies there. But sadly, these two don't actually seem to oh, have well. anything to them. It is just an Easter egg. You've got one, another shop in the world where you can buy some pies. And hey, if you are a cannibal, that's a perfect place to actually get yourself some mystery meat. And you've got a man who's a barber. Other than that, definitely does appear just to be a, uh, a nice little nice little Easter egg. I kind of figured that was going to be the case, but had to check. I've been meaning to check for ages. Finally got to it. All right, let's go back this way and go to where those uh, things are we haven't explored. Gun out. I mean, we really don't need the gun out quite yet until we get over towards them. So there should be some robots there, but we'll be safe. Better safe than sorry. Oh, hello, robot. Here we go again. There we go. That one's down. He also caught fire for some reason. You've messed with the wrong treasure hunter and her trusty sidekick. Yeah, you're still my sidekick. You need to learn that. Assistant to battle. Get him. All right, glorious flamer fuel. I mean, that might be a fun building to go in and explore, but for now, let's just find more of the world. What do we got here besides another one of those really awesome tanks that I want to drive around in? All right, so we got an old base here. It seems to have perhaps been taken over by hooligans of some form. Oh, gatherers. Oh, Barbican. This is supposed to... Oh, I guess it's supposed to be, like, inside there. This definitely does not look like the Barbican. Well, we're going to have to kill these people. You know, I kind of want to go in there to see if it is the Barbican. Like, IRL Barbican. Because outside definitely does not look it. But. 
Oh my god, it is a, I've been wondering what these weird bump outs were. Oh my god, it might actually be the Barbican inside there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go check, but I'm gonna go grab these ruins first, too. What? Eh? Some sort of weird hooligan scum. Don't care. I'm here for ruins! And that is it! I think it's this. The weird Nuka-Cola building. With more gatherers! Son of a... Well, that's interesting. I'll teach you to trifle with Kira the Invincible. <laughs> take that, Red Wrap Up! I'll take that. Oh, hi. Oh, there's more. Okay, okay. We're gonna end up with a lot of Red Rat meat. Did you get yours? There you go. Good to work. Good work. There was another I, I stabbed. There we go. There's still one around. Uh, Nuka Cola headquarters. Right. Hey, uh, gatherers, I hope you do. Learn about Nuka Cola and Ion Brew. <laughs> well, we got another weird random miscellaneous thing. But hey, gatherers, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to use your cooking station. I got a lot of rad rats I got to cook up real quick. There we go. Well, it would actually be quite interesting to learn more about Nuka Cola and Ion Brew in this world, but that's a later date thing. Okay, I kind of want to fill this in before we head back to the Barbican. Yeah, if we can fill this area in, that would be great. It's one of the areas that we, you know, have not been able to fully explore yet in total. So if we can, that means we don't gotta come back because there are other areas. Did you hear that? I did not, but I mean, I I see up at the top. Well, there you are. Good work, sidekick. Oh, here they come. Had. I've heard legends of these. Have you? Didn't expect a bright one. Really? I mean, I figured you would have by now, probably. Legendary one, eh? Well, he wasn't that legendary, now was he? Ow! How dare you, normal dryad. Well, those were misses. Oh. Uh -huh. Got him. Another triumph for Kira the Adventurer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, Cavalier. Legendary. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Okay, also, you know what? I'm going to drink my milk. My pasteurized milk, because that'll get rid of my rads and heal me. It'll be a waste of the strength, but we should get the bottle back, I assume. And then we can go milk another cow. Yep, we got the milk bottle back. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely need to collect a few milk bottles. Ooh. Might be an interesting thing on that roof, perhaps. But not now, not now. Looks like there's just two places we haven't discovered yet in this area. So let's get those. Mm -hmm. Investigate the fire. Ah, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> oh, it's on the other side of this damn building. Oh, no. Not my problem right now. <laughs> you know what? Actually, that might be what we do tomorrow, though. Uh, get back out some of these... Um, some of these miscellaneous quests that we have. Old Spittlefield Market. My senses are tingling. Quick, get them. Huh? Yeah, I mean, that's what we did. Oh, there's more. No, oh, hey, guys. No. Oh, I don't have any throwables. Kill them fucking dead. Yeah, that's what we're doing, no. Kira. Oh, God, one of these dudes. Oh, an Atkins Pyro at that. Well, he's dead. Dunk. Oh. That's a throwable. That's a lot of them in there too. Jeez. My flunky is going to mess you up. I mean, I am, but I'm not your flunky. Ugh. Still, do not appreciate that, Kira. Yeah, yeah you oh, run in there. Uh, okay. I'll give you that one. Oh, that's more. That's more grenades. Okay. Who else needs to die? No. You wonderful. All right, they're over on the side now. Oh, go, oh, God, go, oh, no. It's one of those. Okay. 
Ooh, you have a gun we haven't played with yet. Okay, I need a heal. Also, there's a dog attacking me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go take that. Let's also get some damage resistance in here. Yeah. Eat me mushy peas. Getting rid of some of my other stuff. Yeah, I don't like that, uh... I don't like that, uh, one with the... Very, very damaging explosive. <laughs> you know, eat my melons. And you. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Okay, I forgot to reload still. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pop that. Light him up, boys. Come around the corner, please. And he's about to hit it, and I need to also take a stim. <sighs> Good, good, good. Ain't scared yet. What? No. Oh, that one's down. Only two left, and one of them has a rocket launcher. Oh God! Quick save. <laughs> I don't need to die after handling all this. All right, the one with the rocket launcher is over there. Let's take care of whoever this one is. It's a dog. Missed it. There we go. All right, reload, reload, reload. I'm worried about this one. Quick save. All right, we're both circling around the building. <laughs> oh, it went inside, it went inside, no! There it is. Oh, it's legendary, but it's behind a wall. Oh, it's down. Oh, it's down. Okay, we're good. We're alive. We're alive. We didn't get exploded. Also, where are we at now? Oh, Old Spitalfield Market. Sweet. Nice place. <laughs> oh, man. He had just a crippling pipe wrench. Why can't I find a nice legendary crude launcher? Uh, oh well, not even worth picking up. All right, loot the others. Oh yeah, the light machine gun. Wait, have we found one of those yet? I don't know. I'm gonna pick it up anyways. Free war money. Ooh, infusion core. Heck yeah. Took me a moment to realize what that was. Since it was just in a normal box. All right, I already looted you. Vintage rifle on you. Man, you're not worth it. A sledgehammer. Meh. <laughs> Alright, looks like everything from these guys. Except for the pyro there. There we go. Now we got all that. Okay, now we gotta circle back around to get that station. Not there. Crap. <laughs> it's a vast world. And there's treasure to be found. Mm -hmm. Let's get exploring. Yeah, I know, Kara. That's what we're doing. We're exploring. All right, we gotta find a way to get over there. Which hopefully is just around the corner here. And what I think we'll do is next episode, instead of going to one of these other quest areas, ooh, we will try and get rid of some of our miscellaneous things. Oh, sweet, you're you're fine. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. No, oh, we got red. You know what? Not my problem. <laughs> I'm out! I do want to go back to the Barbican real quick. So let's go back this way. Can I get through here somehow? You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Through I go! Yes! Magnificent. And it was back this way. Yeah, I need to I need to know. I I love the Barbican. It's one of my favorite buildings in the city of London. It's just cool looking. Very cool a futuristic sci-fi looking structure. 
Why is that sign lit up? Oh my god, it's drawing me in. Oh, hi on, bro. Door doesn't seem to be openable, though. So, nifty. Alright, leave it. Also pretty sure I know this park. Don't know the name, though. It's not considered a locale here, so, meh. Alright, let's get ourselves back to the barbican. And then, yeah. I'll have to have a think on that, though, for next time. Because I am torn on it, whether we should get rid of some of these miscellaneous things or go do some, like, normal proper questing. No, I don't care, hooligans. Go away. Hey. I'm, I'm heading to the Barbican. I don't care about you. I've killed enough of your kind. Leave me alone. All right, gatherers, I'm really going to need you to not try and attack me. You're going to try and attack me, aren't you? Ah, oh, it's inaccessible! Ah, oh, man! Mysterious forces are afraid. You brought this on yourself. The enemy is afoot. Mainly, I don't want to get you because you never have anything good on you. Fuck! I've hit everything but them. Oh, well, they ran. Yeah, they never have anything good on them. Oh man, we can't get to the barbican. Where did they go? Rowan, no fighting. Were, uh, Keep your beefs in the streets. Can... Privacy. So I mean, I'm. Oh, hello, oh, Jesus. Like... So I mean, it definitely seems to be some sort of potential settlement, but it looks like not one we can get into. Oh man! I want to get in the Barbican. Mainly because I'm just intrigued if it actually looks like the Barbican or if it's going to continue to look weird like this wall. I mean, let's be honest, the Barbican itself is also kind of weird, but I love it. Dang, I'm a little disappointed. Oh well, I'm going to have to have a think on what I want to do for next time. Either going to a mission thing, a proper mission, or have us get rid of some of these... Uh, Ooh. get rid of some of these miscellaneous quests that we have as we do have a lot and we keep grabbing more so <laughs> it might be good to get rid of some of those uh, especially since we are over in this area learn about these might be intriguing granted that's another one that's like zero of eight. Oh my god and it's not even showing on the map I mean So who knows where we might have to go for that. This one, though, seems more of a thing. All the way over there. I don't know. I'll have a think on it. I'll have a think on it. But that's going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. Well, have a good one.